What's up, people? Today, I'm coming to you with a quick case because I wanted to talk about police arresting folks or offering citations or charging them with disorderly conduct or some other crazy ass ordinance for using profanity while in their presence or using profanity towards them. And what happens is this is a case that derives from the fighting words doctrine. I will do this case on tomorrow. And the reason being is because it is a long doctrine. I could actually do two, three, maybe four videos on it. But it's one thing I just want everybody to get a gist of what it is, how it works, and what it applies to. I'm even going to go into the fact that where they're using these statutes and ordinances and they are unconstitutional for being either void for vagueness or what is called as over breath and what happens is when you're trying to enforce a statute that is unconstitutional it doesn't apply to you when you're trying to um, enforce a statute or ordinance or a code that doesn't apply to you or over that's over breath you are also not part of that it is it doesn't exist for the most part so the case we want to review today is Lewis B city of New Orleans 415 US 130 1974 and basically it's permitting the cursing and unraveling of or using abusive or opprobrious words to a police officer while in the performance of their duty. Now, when you go over this, you have to understand there are other things that go along with this and why that applies, but for the most part, this case is why they cannot charge you with disorderly conduct for using profanity. They can like it or don't like it. It is written as law because it's your first amendment right to do so. Leave a like, share the video, leave a comment. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, for those that wanna help the channel keep growing, donation links are in the pinned comments. Talk to you guys later.